G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon from DigitalScrapbookingHQ.com and today I'm here to show you how you can clip a photograph or a piece of paper to a shape in Photoshop Elements. Today I'm working with a kit from Karen Lewis Designs called Silly Billy. The first thing I'm going to do is add to my paper a photograph that I'm keen on. Drag it in from the photo bin. The next thing I need to do is draw a shape that I want to clip this photo to. I'm going to choose a rounded rectangle. I'm going to click and drag to create the shape. Then I'm going to make sure that my shape is below my photograph and then go to layer, create clipping mask. Now my photograph is cut to the shape below. However, the rest of my photo that you can't see is really just hiding and I can move it around to make sure I've got just the crop that I want. I can even select the shape and resize that if necessary. Nothing is set in stone. I like to think of creating a clipping mask as my best friend in digital scrapbooking. It's a non-destructive edit that allows me to get my photograph back to its original size and shape if I need to. At any time, I can go to Layer, Release Clipping Mask and my photos back to normal. There's also a keyboard shortcut, Control G. I like to call that one Scrapper's Best Friend. A third alternative way to create a clipping mask is to hold down your ALT key and move your mouse until you see these two circles. Click once and you'll release the clipping mask. Click again and you'll create the clipping mask. You can use this same method for papers as well. I'm going to click on my photograph and then select my shape tool and draw another rounded rectangle. Then I'm going to pull a piece of paper from my photo bin and using Scrapper's best friend, Control G, clip that paper to the shape. Now I want to move that rounded rectangle but if I drag I'll just be moving this paper around. To avoid this I'm going to link the shape and the paper layer together. So I'm going to click on the top paper layer, shift click on the shape layer and click on the chain link icons to link the layers. If you have an earlier version of Photoshop Elements the link buttons will be alongside your new and adjustment layer buttons in your layers panel. Now I can take my move tool and move my layers. I can also move them perhaps to below the photograph. I'm going to apply this same technique to my photo and shape. Click on my photo, shift click on shape link the layers and then I can move them as one. Now I've got the basis of my layout ready for journaling and embellishing. Thanks to Scrapper's best friend Control G to create a clipping mask. Would you like to learn more about clipping masks? Join me for Clip mask and blend where we'll demystify these terms and work out how you can use Photoshop elements to get the picture that's in your head onto the screen. I can't wait to see you there. Join me digitalscrapbookinghq.com slash clip.